Welcome back into Sports Connection. Ringside Elite, they're about to do some drills in front of us here and show us how they do it in the ring. So, Coach, I'm going to just hand it over to you, and uh, we're just going to watch you work, man. Go All ahead. Right, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You ready, man? Here we go. Jeff. Jeff. One, two, one, two. Jeff. Double Jeff, two. Good. Combo. One, two, one, two, two, slip, two, three, two, one. Good. Jeff. Good. Jeff. One, two. One. Double Jeff, two. Good. Double jab two. Hook two. Pop, pop. Sit oh. again. Sit again. Pop, 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 pop. Jab. Good. One, two, one, two. Oh. Sit again. Pop, pop. Good. We're going to go one, two, hook two. Combination. Here we go. One, two, hook two. Slip two. Hook two. Pop. Speed. Good. Two. <laughs> two. Good. Two, hook two. Pop, pop. Jab. Jab. Good. Combination. One, two, hook two. Slip two. Hook two. Pop. Good. We're going to double jab two on the very end. So we're going to go one, two. Oh. One, two, hook two. Slip two. Hook two. Pop. Double jab two. Good, very in. We'll sit again, we'll sit again. One, two, hook, two, slip, two, hook, two, block. Double jab two. Good, we'll sit again. Jab. Good, left hook, right hand. Boom, boom. Good, sit again. Jab. Good, combination, add on the double jab two. So we're going to go one, two, hook, two, slip, block. Double jab two. Good, beautiful, sit again. One, two, hook, two, slip, two, hook, two, block. Good, we'll sit again, we got it, jab. Good, hook two. Jab. Good, combination. One, two, hook two, slip, two, hook two, block. Double jab two. Good, let me get one more like that. One, two, hook two, slip, two, hook two, block. Double jab two. Nice show, take a second. Nice, yeah. Woo! So, Coach, okay, just, um, you know, obviously the terminology in boxing, you know, I, hear, I heard jab a lot. Just how do you develop that? Um, skill to be in their head to recognize quickly, you know, what you're talking about and what you want them to do. So anytime I have, I don't care what the age is, beginners or not, we always start off at the very, like, the basics, and they punch when I say it. So they're getting really used to my voice. There's, like, some, some fighters use numbers, a lot of numbers. I'll say jab or one. The most I do is, like, one, two hook. Like, I don't really go into, like, the whole number mm -hmm. depth. But they know what I'm saying. So I, I have them trained in my voice. So when they do compete, like Josh does, he can hear my voice outside the ropes. You know, listen like my terminology, what I say, how I say it, stuff like that. Oh, Communication, right. man. Absolutely. Communication. Absolutely. Lana, for you, just uh, in your mind, you know, how long did it take you to, to you know, finally get that down pack, to, to get that routine down pack and figuring all that out? Um, not very long. Okay, cool. Let's see. She, she's smart. She got it all down. You, you heard that power bond. Quick those learner. Those I mean, crazy. Well, Bailey, your turn, man. Show us what you got. Are you ready? I heard you a star. Here we go, here we go. Ball. Slip. Get right hand. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh. Good reset. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going to step around. Two, two. Block. Slip. Slip the ball. Start over. Block. Block. Slip. Start over. Any time. Good job. Check it out, check it out. Getting in the Good. groove. Sit again, hook two. Jeff. Good. Oh, nice. Jeff. Hook two. Jeff. Good. One, two, hook two. Uh, one, two, hook two. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Good. One, two. One, two, double jab two. Good. Again. Uh, one, two, double jab two. Uh, Jeff. Good. Back to combo. Relax. Relax. Do right hands. Oh, 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 oh. Block, slip, side over. Good, nice and move. Slips, slips. Do right hands. Oh, oh, oh. Time. Good, check it out. Woo! Nice job, look at Wow, man, that was. Right. Both of them were great. Now, just in, in, in my mind, you know, the conditioning for Boston. You know, I'm a big uh, uh, Creed movie fan, like all the Rocky movies, and you see all the conditioning like they oh, have absolutely. to go through for that. Obviously, in real life, you really have to do that. You know, conditioning-wise, what, what do you what do you put them through? So, man, like, so the normal things that they do for training camp, they'll do 15 minutes of jump rope, 10-minute shadow boxing with or without weights or resistant bands. They'll do 15 minutes on the heavy bag, 10-minute double end bag, 6-minute speed bag, and they'll do 10 minutes with, uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes with me. And at the very end of class, they'll do some strength and conditioning, some planks, brush and twists, just really trying to build up the abs, you know, you know just against you know, the body shot. Uh, we'll do some neck exercises for, the, you know, for getting hit in the face. You want to have a good neck. Sometimes over snapping your head back. Because in the amateurs, if your head does snap back, it's an eight count. 
So we try to really condition the necks so they're not going to be bouncing their head up and down. Sure. Yeah, condition plays a huge part. I always tell the guys, I mean, you mean the world's best boxer, but if you ain't got stamina, it don't matter. Right. Deontay Wilder. No shot. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I've seen it a couple times. I'm just saying. Yeah. The Fury one. That fight still hurts me to this day. But yeah, now, facts. Brian, He's retired now. He is retired, it? yeah. I did not know that. Huh? Yeah. Brian, what did you see out there? What'd you, what'd you, what'd you I, I, I saw a lot of speed, a lot of hand eye coordination. And, you know, do some people have natural instincts, you know, to box? I mean, is that something you see? Can, it can be taught, obviously, but. I guess some people just have a natural instinct. Yeah, there's, there's like people prior of sports, usually if they have any kind of background in sports, they have that discipline already. So from there, I can just kind of build around that base. Like the way I coach, if you have a really good like tool, I'll just sharpen that up and then I'll add some more arsenal to it, so to speak. Like, you know, Lana's already fast, she's got power, so now I just work around that. I don't have to like go back and check all those boxes, you know what I mean? Like if she already has a good base, I can just build up off of that. And then on the other side, I have some fighters, which it, it it comes in handy both ways. Like, for instance, the guys I've built up from the, like, the ground up, they don't have any bad habits. But if you're just playing football or you have any kind of background in other sports, it kind of shows. If you've done kickboxing, you have like a, like a wider base. If you've done football, you have a very much like, I want to be squared off with you. Mm. So, you know, it just depends what kind of sports you have. Like, as a coach, you have to find ways to work around that. Because sometimes, like, the guys that did play football, they have a very much like come forward kind of bull style. And I got to tell them, look, we're boxing, man. We're not, we're not here to brawl. I want you to, I want you to swim without getting wet. So hit without getting hit, you know what I mean? I try to have them just think strategically. Don't just go in there and try to look for a knockout because it gets you hurt. So I'm like, just try to, you know, box smart. I know you played football. I know you used to, like, going in there head-to-head, -head, but let's try to, you know, fight smart. You want, you want to retire boxing, not boxing, retire you. Right. You know, the, right. what's cool about this is, you know, you can come to, you know, ringside and not have any aspirations of being a talented boxer. You come to just get in shape, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I've got people from... Like the youngest I take is eight year old, but if you're younger than eight, I always say like if you want your kid to do it, do it with them. Like do a like do a group setting where you can bring your six year old, seven year old, five year old, and then uh, you know I have people that I've got one that's 64, one that's 72 years old. They're in there like three days a week. So uh, if you have Parkinson's, if you have dementia, anything like that, boxing helps a lot with the mental. It's not just physical. Some people are like, well, I'm not, I'm not in a good enough shape to go to a boxing gym, and I'm like, you take a bath, you take a shower. You know what I mean? You, you go to the gym to get in shape. You don't get in shape and then go to the gym. So I try to tell people, you don't have to fight. You can go in there just for your fitness, just for your mental. Because like I told you earlier, like homeschool kids, man, like it, they do 180s. Like they walk in there, they're shy kids. They leave, their heads up, they're smiling, they're sweaty. They're, you know, all the dopamine you get from exercising. I'm like, man, that's what I'm trying to preach out there. Like you don't have to go in there and fight. You don't have to take any punishment. Guys are always like, man, I don't know if I can box because this and that. I'm like, dude, you're not fighting anybody. Who, who told you that? Yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm the coach, man. You're not going to fight anybody unless you want to. I'm sure. like, you can walk in there, do an hour class, do your fitness class, get in shape, go home. That's it. And those guys are the ones that come to, like, the fighters. They'll come in there to watch. They'll support them. They'll show up to all the events. And they're just like, man, I'm just here to support and show love for the gym. So. All right. Well, we appreciate you all for coming Absolutely. in. Thank you thank all you. did great. Thank you. Come on in here, Billy. Don't be shy. You should be on camera. <laughs> Thank you all for coming, man. We appreciate y'all for being absolutely, here. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Great to meet you. I want to see how hard this girl can hit. Let's do it right here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, don't go anywhere. We have more to connection right after the break. Oh. <laughs> oh.